Good morning, adventurers. If you have not been here before, my name is Emma. I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK, uh, from the south of the UK to be very specific. And uh, it's Sunday morning, as you can see, Sunday vibes. And I am feeling the Sunday vibes today. I'm in a really good mood this morning, which which is good, which is good. Um, we're gonna do a little day in the life video. I haven't done one of these for maybe over a year. Um, before I start, it is, I have no idea what time it is actually because I'm not wearing my watch. I've got a bracelet on, but I've got my watch on. Uh, so we'll go and get that. I need to put my watch on. Um, this uh, day in the life video is in partnership with Schmoll. Um, if you have used them before, uh, put a link in the comment um but we'll talk a little bit more about Schmoll later on uh, but um thank you very much for partnering with us and uh, if you're not guessing part of my morning routine is that we're gonna have to do some laundry because there are five people in this house and we get muddy on a regular basis so let's go i need to get my day started because otherwise oh it's just nothing's gonna happen is it if i'm not doing it nothing's gonna happen so let's go morning charlie hello did I, I plugged my watch in. Where did it go? <coughs> oh no, my watch went. Yeah. I plugged it in. Oh gosh, that's just fabulous, isn't it? My headphones had been knocked into the water in the steamer, so they're probably broken now, aren't they? Do we have any rice to put them in? God knows how long they've been in there. That's just wonderful, isn't it? What a way to start the morning. I literally just said what was good in mood I was in. Philip is behind me, but um, he is, he does not wear pyjamas. In front of me, sorry, he's behind the camera, but he doesn't wear pyjamas. And whilst he's not naked, none of you want to see that this early in the morning. <laughs> he's going, oh, rude. I didn't say I didn't want to see it. I'm saying that, you know, the hundreds of people that are gonna watch this don't want to see you in your pants, dude. I'm gonna look for my, I'm just gonna make sure he's not in the video because really, you don't wanna. You don't want, I don't want to subject you to that. I have no idea where my watch is gone. And this is pretty typical of me in the morning, to be fair, of not having a floofing clue where anything is. ADHD brain. I have no idea whether I'm coming or going. Okay. Okay. So, no watch this morning. And my headphones are probably broken. That's starting off so well. I'm so excited. So, Phil always makes my breakfast in the morning, makes me a coffee. Not because I'm lazy, but because otherwise I will forget to eat. Uh, because I will do like a million and one other things. <coughs> and I'm like doing stuff for the kids and then I forget to feed myself. And then I end up really angry, <laughs> cranky. Um, and no one wants that. I get hangry. I'm not a nice person when I'm hangry. So, first thing I have to do in the morning is let my poochie pooch out. Uh, it's a bit of a messy living room. We didn't tidy it last night, but there she is. Lily, say hi. Say hi, Lily dog. Uh, Lily is a Cretan hound. I've had lots of people ask me that before, and I don't know if I've ever said anything. But she's a Cretan hound, and she's a rescue. Go on, there, darling. You go to the toilet. Good girl. She's a. <laughs> that's my dog voice. Good girl, darling. Um, <laughs> she is a rescue from a uh, rescue. It's, um has a UK base, but it's um, a, a a Cypriot rescue um, in Nicosia, in Cyprus. Uh, it's called SBDC. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, we got her as a four month old puppy and um i'll see if i can add a picture in of her as when she came the day she came home maybe over here somewhere um she was adorable and uh she can be quite anxious dog but she's a darling and um just just generally fabulous in every way um apart from the fact that she has a tendency that if you, if you we have to have like a stair gate by the door because otherwise she just like takes herself for a walk occasionally which of course is not ideal um but she always comes back within like five minutes yeah. So, um, if you have any children in your house, you'll know that you're doing laundry all the time. And I have tried so many different ways to make laundry, like, easier to manage. I'm just going to rest the camera there. It's going to be wonky. No, it's not. There we go. Um, to try and make laundry easier for five people. And it's, I think it's harder because... Um, you know, if it was the kids were at school, they would have a uh, school uniform and that's that's what they would wear during the week and they would probably just come straight home and get into like, um, like play clothes or jammies, onesies, whatever, like that's what my kids are when they've had a busy day. However, they're not, they're wearing their normal clothes all day long 
and then so whatever they're doing they're in their normal clothes so we do have to have more clothes than um maybe they would like more normal clothes than if they would if they were at school um i think i don't know because mine have never been to school so who how do i know um but they certainly seem to have more clothes than friends of mine whose children at school like because obviously they've bought the school uniform um so but they also go to forest school which i've talked about before but they spend all day on a monday in the forest and they come back especially in the summer it's not too bad they often come home maybe covered in paint or something um occasion glue in the hair betsy uh, but um in the winter this time of year they come home caked in mud and my poor washing machine over here goes through a lot we also have swimming lessons so the swimwear being washed every week uh, we have horses so my clothes often get muddy and other clothes and then they're like the other there's another day another like other days when we're getting muddy too um so yeah we get we get dirty a lot so our clothes really take a beating um and i need to get some laundry done i'm gonna stop waffling and i'm gonna go check i'm trying to make sure that the dog's gonna come in because we leave the door open so she can come back in and we haven't got the heating on constantly at the moment but i don't want to let what heat is out because you know cost of living it's just ridiculous so it turns out she's not done yet i just went out there and i just saw her like doing that whole turn aroundy thing that dogs do before they go to the toilet so apparently She's not done yet. I can hear her now. <laughs> so annoying. My goodness, right, okay. She's done now. And she's left a trail of muddy paw prints all over the lounge floor, which of course I will have to deal with later. Yay! <laughs> oh. We were all really ill, like a little while ago, and I think I said it in one of my videos. Um, and like just no laundry got done for maybe like two weeks because i was really ill and phil was ill and if he wasn't feeling ill he was looking after the kids so um we just who we were ill so we just haven't done loads which means every room every laundry basket has a mountain of laundry and it's just driving me insane but having never running out of laundry detergent does help because it means that i can do like four in a day and get really get stuff done and I just have my laundry detergent on hand oh. right, that's all wet stuff so something I wanted to talk about and you know I'm gonna get distracted and keep going back here is um and I did do a video on this but I just didn't upload it because it was just me like sitting and talking and I thought this is probably gonna be better um and that was that um, we had a, like, a breakthrough. <sighs> Dirty laundry. Um, we had a breakthrough recently um, with the kids. That's not dirty laundry, that's spare things. Um, we had a breakthrough, homemade breakthrough recently. I don't know if anyone else has had them uh, recently, but it was just like, it was amazing. And um, I decided I'd, had, I'd pretty much had enough of the children arguing with me about um their home ed and i realized that what my vision for what home ed looks like was very different to what theirs looked like and i thought okay how can i make this work how can i make everyone happy or as happy as possible but including me because i don't want to be unhappy doing this and i kept thinking to myself oh um um, maybe I should send them to school, maybe I should have sent them to school, like maybe this is all just a bad idea. And I hated feeling like that because rationally I know it, it's never a bad idea. That this is a good idea, this is a good idea for me, it's a good idea for them. And um, oh, it's a collection of socks, oh that one's hard and crusty, gross. Right, um, where's me, get my, whoops, get my schmoll. Um, yeah, so we had this to uh, we have this epiphany and I thought okay what do you I said to them we were in the car so many good conversations happen in the car and anyone find that um and I said to them well what do you want to learn about and I thought let's just scrap everything else for now and let's just do a project that they want to learn about and um Bessie who's always the hard one she's the one who's always complaining I don't like this um and I said well what do you want to learn and she said I want to learn about oceans yeah, I can do that, I can, we can learn about oceans. And the boys went, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I want to learn about oceans. Okay. So I went onto this website called Teach Simple and um, 
put some of those in. I like to, just digressing back to laundry, I like to wash at 20 um, because environment, cost of living, and all that jazz, it's always on 20 degrees C. A little chilly, but that's okay. Um, yes, so I said, okay, we're going to learn about oceans. I went onto this website called Teach Simple, which is kind of like an American twinkle. And I found um, a, a it's, it's lots of different, it's rather than one lot of creators, like Twinkle is, it's um, loads of different people. They can like add their stuff to it. So if you wanted to make something, you could add it to them. Um, it's a bit like Teachers Pay Teachers. That's another one that's very similar. And uh, there's a creator on there called Simply Schoolgirl. And she has loads and loads of unit studies. And one of them was oceanography. And I was like, bingo! That's amazing. She has a whole earth science set that goes through literally learning everything about the planet. And I was like, okay, this is totally up their street. Um, it's amazing. Uh, I will share a link to it in the description um, and to her like handles and stuff. This is not impartial with her, partial with her at all. Um, but yes, so I downloaded her oceanography stud to study. We've already started it. Um, they're loving it. They are absolutely loving it. And there is writing in there. There is research in there. There's actually loads of different there's craft activities, loads and loads of different things. They are totally like on board with it. Even the writing, and that's a miracle for my kids. It really is. Um, especially Charles, he hates writing. Um, so yes, it's going really, really well. And then um, I said, okay, she does loads of animals as well. Like let's learn about let's learn about marine animals. And um, she had maybe ten unit studies, I think, about marine animals, like sharks, turtles, octopus, dolphins, seals, that sort of thing. So I gave them the list, and then I gave them a ballot paper, um, and um, got said you can you've got four votes, and so you tick them and then we'll make, I'll make the unit study out of what you decided. And in the end, we ended up picking five because the boys picked the same, but Bessie picked the same, but one different. So I just added that one on as well. So we're doing sharks, turtles, octopus, dolphins, and crabs. That's what we're doing. Um, so we're just working through it at our own pace. It's going really, really well. We're watching Blue Planet. Um, Blue Planet 2, David Attenborough. We are, I've got some books from Amazon, some encyclopedias. Again, all of the links will be in the description if you want to join in. Um, hello, Lily. And then I was like, well, how can I add history into this? So then on Amazon Prime, I bought for like, it was like £1.50 per episode. I bought um, Nigel Marvin's Walking with Dinosaurs Sea Monsters. So it's like, ha ha, paleontology, history, done. Um, tick, 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 tick everything. And the only thing that doesn't get covered by it is maths, but like we do that separately. And I was thinking like, this could work. This could work for everything. We could just do unit studies now. We could be a unit study homeschooling, home educators. That's what we could do because they are loving it. And I'm like, it's so organized, it's making me so happy. So I think we're unit study homeschoolers now. I think that's what we are. I think we are unit studiers. We know Charlotte Mason because we can live without nature study. It doesn't make, it doesn't like, it's not bother, it doesn't bother me. I can, um, you know, there's all of the other things that I recently like, would take bits of. It did. It worked for me. It didn't work for them. So um, yes, we are unit study home home educators now. That is our education style. That is my children's education style, and I am just going on for the ride. So the next thing I did was I made another ballot about things that I was willing facilita to, to, to facilitate educationally over the week. Um, and it was a three page document I gave to each child and I sat down with them and we discussed what each one was and then they got to vote. And I said put a tick or a cross. Now the older two would put multiple ticks eventually in boxes that they were really, really excited about. Albert just put a tick, he liked everything, he ticked everything. But Bessie put some crosses, Charles put more ticks in one than the other and Bessie put more ticks in one than the other. And it actually, the way they did it, it enabled me to see what their priorities are. Um, and their priorities are very different to mine it seems because if I had done the same thing like for what I thought was important in their education like those quizzes when they do your home education style quiz it wouldn't have been anything like theirs and at the end of the day it's their education not mine and um yeah so I won't share this with you because they're private to the children and um like what their priorities are but our home education is going to look a lot different I think going into 2023 we're going to be prioritizing things that give the children joy um and there's lots of the things that they clicked give me joy too it was like dance parties and going for a walk with a dog and 
learning about the world and all of that sort of stuff. They want me, they want to expand their horizons and learn more about the world. And I'm like, I'm totally here for that. Let's do it. Because I don't know loads of stuff. There's loads of stuff I don't know. I only know what the national curriculum taught me, which is very limited. And I also only know what I remembered from that, uh, which again is even more limited than what I was taught in the first place. So I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I am going to go and get dressed and then we're going to have a little chat about Schmoll and then I'm going to have my breakfast. Okay, dressed. I have got my coffee and this is a mug that Charles bought for me for my birthday. It says, five things I love almost as much as riding my horse. Looking at my horse, talking about my horse, watching television programs that feature people riding horses, websites about horse riding, chocolate. It's true, the boy knows me well. Mm. Lovely. So, schmoll, schmoll. Now, um, so the big thing that we love about schmoll is that it's environmentally friendly. They come in cardboard boxes that are recyclable. I mean, and I mean, on, yeah, totally plastic free. The wood is um, like from sustainable forests that makes the paper. But this is the bio one. The biological capsules. This is the ow. This is the non-bio capsules. This is the one we get in the post. If I turned it around, you would see my husband's name and our address. Uh, but this is one of the ones that came in the free trial that they sent me. And I was like, you don't need to send me a free trial. I already love you. You could have just asked. Um, but they did, which was really kind. So I got these. I got some of the bio ones, which we've already used, and I got the um, dishwasher tablets, which we also use. We don't use any of the others. Um, and then <coughs> what I hadn't used before was the fabric conditioner, the fabric softener. I live in a hard water area, because it can sometimes build up. I don't use it on um, towels or um, cloth sanitary wear and things like that, because fabric conditioner can, and or cloth nappies when we had cloth nappies, um, because it does affect the absorbency of those kind of items. But I will use it on jumpers, I'll use it on blankets, I'll use it on bedding, anything like that. Um, especially if the kids are feeling unwell and they are very sensory sensory sensitive so I will be like bloop bloop and stick a few glugs in there in the fabric softener drawer um compartment of the drawer just to make it nicer it does smell nice as well it smells very fresh reminds me of the ocean which is good um I think they I think they all smell nice the other good thing about them is that these have got these childproof boxes so you have to if you're a child look away now you probably really shouldn't be watching my videos because they're not, I mean, they're not, they're not not child friendly, but they're not aimed at you. So if you're a child, look away now, because I'm about to show you how to open the box. Um, so you press with your thumb on this bit here, and then the thumb on the side, and you push at the same time. <gasps> ba -doing! And then the bio ones are green, like this, it's lovely green. Reminds me of um, the popular brand of washing up liquid, which I won't mention, but it smells nice. This, and, they, and then the same here with the, so, put it in there. And then pick it out. And then, as you saw earlier, the non bio ones are blue. It has this little tiny thing. And the blue ones smell slightly different, which is nice. I think it's an easy way to tell. So, if you are visually impaired and you, or you're colour blind in any way and you can't tell the difference between the colours, sniff them. <coughs> and that you'll be able to tell because they smell different. There's one or the other. So we use non-bio on a regular basis. Um, one of our children does have a, um, a a barrel and bladder condition, and anything that has um, bodily fluids, because they quite we quite often have to do laundry that has bodily fluids on it. Um, also, obviously, I am a menstruating person, so um, anything that has anything that has blood, wee or poo. I will use biological to break down anything that's in there. Um, also, if something's got like lots of food on, I will use like baked beans or curry sauce, tomato sauce, something like that. Oh, so nice. Um, I will I'm not allowed to sniff them all the time, that's not okay. But yeah, I will use the biological ones for heavy things like that. Um, so I'm just looking at the website here and there's some bits nuggets I want to share with you before I go, which are save more than just money it is cheaper it does work out cheaper that's the other thing it does work out cheaper than buying any of the other leading brands um and and it's just like it's in a cardboard box it's not like ugh, it's all plastic free that stuff around it it's not plastic so you're not putting microplastics into the water but it says here since they launched they have saved 1069 tons of plastic 
2,903 tonnes of chemicals, 16,268 tonnes of carbon, 32 tonnes of animal fat, 903,369 litres of water shipped, because obviously it's just these tiny little things, and then 168,498 washes donated. So you can get a free trial. They also do fragrance free laundry detergent. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. Ooh. Bear, bear. Mine? No, I'm not. I don't know. Fragrance free laundry detergent. They also do hand sanitizer. They do cleaning spray. I have used them before. It smells really nice. It's just a tiny little tablet. And you drop it, you just you get the bottles, it's a tiny little tablet, you drop it in the water, it becomes cleaning spray. It's amazing. Um <laughs> it's def and they and they smell good. There's a glass cleaner, a bathroom cleaner, and an all-purpose cleaner. And they're colour coded and they all smell different. So again, if you're visually impaired or you're colour blind, you will you don't need to rely on the colours. They also like the fabric conditioner here, like I don't know if you can see that, but it says fabric conditioner on um on this a little elastic band thing and the others have them too. Um so you'll be able to see the words as well so if you can't smell very well my mum can't smell she'll be able to tell the difference um and uh, my dad's colorblind so they would be able to read it on here so they also have a starter kit and i'll just if you can see that i did buy that the first time we got small can you see that can you see that not very well um so they've got so you get like a trial essentially a trial of everything dishwasher tablets non-bio bio fabric conditioner and all the cleaning sprays and it's, it's 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 a steal you feel like you're stealing it so that's 25 pounds and you'll get the whole lot so i will say before i leave is this is an affiliate link i do get a little bit um of a of like a a little bit of a, a reward if you sign up uh, you also but you'll get a discount code and if you use my discount code I think I get like five pounds for every three people who sign up or something like that. It's nothing. But to be honest, like I've said before on those affiliate links, they all get them to go. I only use, I only do partnerships with people I actually use, with companies I use, and the money just goes straight back into buying their products because I love them and I don't tell you about stuff I don't love. So my five pounds, if I get it, will just go towards another month's subscription of laundry detergent because I love it. I'm going to go now. If you're environmentally conscious and you're drowning in laundry like I am, check small out. <coughs> check out the discount code below in the description and um, I'll also float it on the screen and let me know what you think. Do you use small? What brand of laundry detergent do you use? Are you thinking about changing? Because if you are, I, I will never go back. I will never go back. I'm gonna see you later. Um, we've got. Some, I'm, I'm getting some. I'm getting some regular content. Check out my outscore channel as well. Not my outscore channel. Outscore channel uh, that I post on, and um, you'll see more random ramblings about home education from me. So I will see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Even if you don't like Schmoll, just if you like me, give me a click. I don't care. I do really. I will see you next time. Bye.